I know, but I know for me. You can get your balls for me. She got to go. She's about to go home. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. You can get those balls for me, sir. I mean, it's it's an amazing feeling to be in a, in a place where you are accepted no matter what you are. And that's really what ballroom is. Ballroom is naturally and organically created in Harlem and New York City, and that will forevermore be the Jerusalem of ballroom. But what they have to remember is what it was created for. It was created by a necessity to give people a space. It wasn't created for people to learn it and go commercialize it. It hasn't been always the easiest life. When you're going through like question about yourself and your identity, I went through things that no kids should go through. I felt very alone, very like confused. The first time that I seen a trans woman was in the ballroom scene, and her name is Barbie Mizrahi. I always remember that day. It was a clubhouse in Harlem. I had, um, you know when you go out at night and your parents don't know? I did that. And um, I went to a ball, and then when I saw Barbie, I, it was like something that clicked in me, that I saw myself in her, and that pushed me to want to be like that and want to be myself because I felt like that was me, like in a sense, you know? Ever since then, I, I started chasing the balls. Ballroom culture is in the sense where you get to uh, choose your family. Um, you know, a lot of people come from uh, backgrounds where they are ostracized or marginalized or um, exercised from their blood relatives because of their sexuality or because of their sexual orientation or whatever the case may be. So uh, ballroom is a place where you can come to find acceptance from your chosen family. I walk All American Runway. So I really get to play with fashion and looks and like over the top stuff. Like I'm walking this weekend and I literally have a cape that has 14,000 24 karat gold feathers <laughs> with three phoenix heads. <laughs> you know, it's, it's you creating your own world in such a small space just for that glimpse of a moment. Um, and that's what I love about it. You can create whatever you want. Let's do this. All right. Trans man, trans man room is for $2,000. Sponsored by Just Chase is now. Let's go. Trans man. Let's A ballroom go. is always going to matter. I think, I think everyone is tolerating the LGBTQI plus community right now because we are the new mecca of generating money. But when this span is over and it's done, what are we gonna fall back on and what are we gonna rely on? Ballroom has been around for over 50 years. People have been around for over 50 years. Why just now are y'all accepting the community? When she gets out, she gets out, I'll tell y'all, go. Y'all turn around, just turn, just turn around. 
they go, and let's go. When I started creating my production, I knew that I wanted to make a moment in time, an iconic moment in history. When I was younger, I felt inspired by those things on camera that I saw. So I wanted to give the same thing back to my community, back to ballroom, because that inspires the younger generation to keep going. That's also a way to always be remembered. And I think that's, that's one of the things that I love about ballroom is that you create moments, but you, be, you, be, you stay in people's minds for years and years at a time, you know what I'm saying? And these are things that, you, that they tell as stories.